Lena. I hope you're all amazing. And if you are not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh. Welcome to day seven of the 12 days of anime. I have not watched a whole lot of Mecca this year. Mm, sad face. I feel bad I've not watched a lot of Mecca. I need to make up for it next year, definitely. But one of few that I actually tried out on a whim. Uh, I actually ended up watching this one on Netflix. And um, it was one that by a studio I have already talked about during these 12 days of anime, which you probably will guess know by now, which is PA Works. Uh, and I've said PA Works likes to take a different direction. So when I heard PA Works was doing a mecha show, it was kind of interesting. And that is Kuramakura. This is a 26 episode series, it's an original. So it's not from any source material, it's completely all story on its own. It surrounds a, a research facility in some rural place in Japan, I can't remember the name of. Um, and it centers on a high schooler named Yukina. She ends up coming across this locked away artifact because her mother works for a research facility and she ends up activating this artifact where there's this man inside. His name is Ken. He is a samurai from the Sengoku era, which is some years and years ago. He ends up really wanting to protect Yukina the whole time during the series, and there is a reason for that. I'm not gonna spoil it, but Kenosuke is an old ass samurai, basically. And yeah, what this brings forth is aliens wanna come invade Earth, I really enjoyed this series um, in a lot of aspects I did. Number one is the actual mecha designs of the robots, so like ninja mechas. They look so freaking cool, I'm like, PA works. You did such a goddamn good job on these designs. I absolutely loved it. Very different from other mecha designs in other shows that I love. Say it's different from like the Gundam, uh, the Freedom from Gundam Seed. That's where the name comes in. That that's the name of Kanosuke's actual mecha, which is Kuromakuro. So loved it, Black Ninja. Yes. The second thing was about the plot. Very interesting in integrating Kanosuke's past from the Sengoku era and also doing sort of a modern take on that. A very engaging. All the fight scenes. The third thing was actually the English dubbed. I really enjoyed the roles of the two main characters, which is you know, Yukina is played by Sheremy Lee, and the one that impressed me most was Bryce Payton Brook, which he plays Aaron from Attack on Titan, very much well known for. I did not recognize his voice at first. It did not sound like him at all. Comparing from playing Aaron to Konosuke, he, his voice was very raspy and like low and I, I really couldn't pick that it was actually him so I thought he did a really great job with playing Kanosuke's character. And yeah honestly Kuro Makuro was a very different mecha series to what I have seen so far and I liked that it was the- I'll say it gets better in the second half of the series it does but honestly the ending well in a way it left me kind of left me open-ended about what could have happened and I would have liked a little more interaction between well, Kanosuke and Yukina. I mean there was some really sweet moments in between them but you know I'm just being a girl and saying that I wanted more interaction. That's just me being like semi-picky. But Kurumakura is definitely different from other mechas I've seen and I liked that PA Works took a different direction to this honestly. So I recommend you guys maybe should go give it a go. And one thing I should say to you Netflix is stop putting certain animes and Netflix originals or anything on there. This was not your original, this was PA Works original. Please leave your comments down below. What did you think of Kurumakuro if you've actually seen the Mecha show? Yeah, did you like it or are the things that you didn't like about it? Yeah, it, the show has its flaws, but overall it has very, it's very entertaining and that's what you want in a Mecha series, I feel. It has to be, you know, entertaining it does. You should go check it out and yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, so 
As always guys, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to keep up with my anime antics, you can follow me on my blog, Elite Kina Anime Corner. And you can follow me on Twitter, Kina Reviews, where I am all the time. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight of the 12 days of anime. Bye!